the stuff they use in NASA. Exact same stuff they use for NASA. It's because we don't want to grab the glass with our hands. We could probably use gloves, but you don't have a lot of dexterity because they're they're basically like big mittens. So you could like grab it, but then you don't have a free hand to break it off. Um, so yeah, as long as you hold the piece, break it off, and then set it in the oven. I really don't like the fan there. You just turn it off. Yeah. All right. Pull your piece off. Yeah. Pull my piece off. Pull it my eyes. That's got my ball. Close enough. See it too. It's a bathroom sign. But we're gonna hang it over the bathroom. Toilet seat, actually. yeah. We're gonna hang it over the bathroom. We need to get a light, like a power source for it. Though. Actually, it's really hard to find somebody that makes the old neon tube like that. It's a very, very rare talent these days. Is there another way to do it? Let's go to Las Vegas. Torch. Not really. I mean, short of blowing it, not torch really. Torch it. Um, and torch it. it. Yeah. yeah. Done with torches. So now I'm going to grab it with the tweezers and the little squirrels.
what I did at first is just coded the whole thing real life. Yes, ma'am, question. Nope. nope, he's already picked up all the chips of glass he's going to do. It's just shaping it at this point. And smoothing it out. And then shaping. Yes, yeah, it makes it so that they don't poke out quite so much. Yeah, if you have like a um, little bumps or dents on the glass when you go to blow it out, it makes it blow out differently. It'll blow out more towards spots where it's thicker. It's one of the reasons we make our bottoms kind of sharp and things egg-shaped. We really don't want the very bottom to blow out that much so that it's thick. And that way it'll sit better. It can also survive falls a little better. Let's see if I kept my bubble. This line work today. I thought Peter was going to come out. Mm -hmm. I thought Peter was going to come out. Well, he had said he was like, oh, yeah, I can do yeah. that. But I guess that is Peter. That's slowly expanding in there. But yeah, if you watch, you can see like that real orange ball in the middle. That's the color. It'll slowly fill up and look like it's just taking up all that clear glass as it pushes it out and makes the bubble. Might need you to wax these jacks. Mm. A little bit squeaky. supply us with the materials that we need. Um, it's just most people don't build their own things. They just buy them pre-made. Can I try making? I can. It'll, it might not work, but sure. Why not? I don't have the right pants for it. I don't know. I could test out some of the glow powder, but you can't see anything until it's done, so... Turn off the lights in here and get the glass close to the powder so it can't react. Wow, that looks thin. What he's doing there is basically lengthening it. Uh, by swinging it around, it stretches it out. Yes, ma'am. It has happened before, but rarely. Yeah. Um, sling it off. Uh, we've got one that doesn't it on like stuff. to sling it around oh, yeah. because he's too worried about hitting it. So he just does like kind of a without going over. He'll just do back and forth. Um, you don't have to go over. It just looks cool. 
<laughs> like well, it. It also keeps up your acceleration yeah. better. It does. Keep it's great. But mostly we do it because it looks cool. It tends to throw it off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, not often, but occasionally. That's what most people want. It's hard to use a vase that's not hollow or drink out of a cup that's not hollow. Um, otherwise, they're paperweights. Um, so yes, yes, that is generally the goal of glass blowing, is to make it hollow. Hot hot. because then we don't have the air pushing in to give it the oxygen that it needs to burn. There is a big old crack in the bottom of that furnace from two the winters last ago, time. last winter, last winter when it froze, power it went out. Last winter. Yeah. yeah. when they were in Philly. Yep. Right. Right. Because the year before that, me and dad were in Philly and everything froze. No, we've roasted them over glass before. We don't have any right now, though. Oh, we were gonna get some. Yeah. We're gonna get some marshmallows to roast over glass, but then I gave them all the pie. What he's doing right now is he's reducing the oxygen that's in the uh, reheating furnace, and what that does is it causes the oxygen in the silver nitrate to burn out uh, and leave just that thin layer of silver. It's called reducing because you're reducing the atmosphere in the furnace. And you see how it's really shiny now? That's basically what that does. It is now coated in a very thin layer of silver. Mm. Yep, and he nukes the crap out of them. Well, yeah, man, there you have it, the cyanide base. Man, I'm hard to see while it's still hot. Yeah. <laughs> It's very shiny. Very shiny. Well, that Good silver is crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, this last batch yeah, of Yeah, the new silver has really just nice. been insane.